Well, hello. Welcome back to Stacy's Crafty Jam. So glad that you guys chose to join me today. Still working on my uh, ephemera holder, uh, doing the, the collab with Line Dot Arrow and Nonstop Paper Crafts. These papers are awesome. So many freebies. Uh, we're on week two of it already. Yeah. So as you can see, yeah, I'm behind. But no problem out. Yeah, so we worked on on this the last time we were here. We we did this this little this little baby. Yeah. This is the pocket there. And then this is the big big pocket there. Uh I put a closure on because you know y'all don't need to see that. That that's simple stuff. But I chose to do the same lace as I have here. So it's matchy match. Yeah. And then the master board thingy is going to go over it like so. Isn't that going to be pretty? Yeah. What do you think? I like it. I like it. And these weren't too bad, weren't too hard to do. And uh, I don't know that I don't, I don't know that I need all of this. I may not make them out standing out that that much. I may I may bring them in. You know I don't know. hadn't hadn't gotten that far yet. <laughs> hadn't gotten that far. But I know I needed to put the closure on. The other thing I did is I covered the inside with the fabric. Hey, do you know what I you know what I learned today? That this eraser works on fabric too, not just paper, but it works on fabric too. <laughs> it may not it, it may not even been designed for uh for for paper you know what i'm saying it, it's a glue eraser so I, I couldn't believe it worked on um on 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 the fabric because uh, i got glue here at, at different places and i was so sad but no fear no stress it, it all worked out so what are we going to do today we're going to do the flippy flip here let's do that and I want to use a file folder. I, I was kind of thinking I would do it flip, 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 flop, flip, flap. <laughs> but I, I, I'm I, thinking all the stuff is going to come flying out, you know, because there's going to be pockets in all of it. So no to the flipping and the flapping and the flopping. Okay. We're just going to do the flap, the flip. <laughs> Get it right, Stacey. All right. And I want it to be, that's where I got my trusty little, my trusty little small ruler. I want it to be five inches from here. I don't. I don't want it to go all the way to to the to the crease line there. So I want it to be five inches wide, and I have decided I want it to be three and a half inches. This is three and a half. I want it to be three and a half inches. The the flap to be three and a half inches long. I think because if I did that there and I did it here that would give me a little bit of clearance between the two for stuff that you, you could potentially be you know out hanging out of the pocket yeah so three and a half inches this way five inches this way and that's what we're doing that's what we're doing today guys so I'm gonna leave that there and what I need to do is cut this five inches this way so let me just let me just make a mark and I'll get my trusty measuring tool, my pencil. So we're going to go five inches here. Let me get right up here. So we're going to we want it five inches. Five inches wide. OK, and then we want it. Well, we'll do that first. We'll do that first. Let's try to use this trimmer. Let's see how that goes. Oh, okay. I got another, another, I got, I got a few um, file folders. If this messes up. Oh, I, I was going to get out that big old guillotine. I'm going to save this because we, we could use that. You know, I don't know for pockets or something. All right. So now we've got this five inches wide. Is that right? Did I do it? I did it. So we got five inches wide. And it's going to flap. It's going to it's gonna open up this way. Yeah. 
So now we need it to be three and a half inches tall. Yeah. So I got these little, these little tiny rulers on Amazon quite a while back. And these come in really handy. If they're not scraping my desk, they're measuring stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I use them to scrape my, my fabric tack off. Probably not a recommended thing by Tim Holtz, but you know, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. You got to press down pretty hard for that. Okay, let me see. Did I do it? Did I do it? Okay, well, let's cut another piece and then we'll see. <laughs> let's not all get let's not get all excited about it just yet. Let's see. So we're going to do another piece at three and a half. I hope I haven't wasted a file folder. But I do have plenty of them, but still, you don't want to waste things, you know. So we're going to do three and a half. And we'll do the trim in there, too. Okay. And then I'll save this, you know, for another, another time. Oh, Lord. Press down hard. So this will be another good flip somewhere else. Where is it at? Here it is. This will be a good, a really good flip somewhere else. Or it could be the start to some sort of um, something. I don't know. That is too good to 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 pass up. All right, we're gonna get rid of the pencil mark, and I think I might round the corners. I don't know. No, I'm not because I'm tearing fabric and I can't tear. I want to cover these in fabric. I have all this gorgeous fabric. You know what I'm saying? That I printed and I really, really want to use the fabric. So, ooh, look, this is going to work out good because that gives me a little clearance here. This gives me a little clearance here. And I was thinking that this could be a pocket back here. This will flip over. There's going to be pockets here. There's going to be pockets here. And I'll be there'll be a pocket here. So you got one, two, three, four. Four pockets in the one flip. And then this is going to be the same thing. We'll do a pocket here. And then one, two, three, four. So that's eight pockets right here. Plus the plus the 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 pocket there. This thing's gonna be a pocket extravaganza. All right. So first things first, we're gonna ink her up. And uh, I I had thought at first I was gonna cover the whole thing with one solid piece of fabric, but I decided against that. Although I do have enough fabric that would that would go this whole length. But I don't want to hinder, I don't want to hinder it flipping and flapping and folding, you know. So I, I'm, I decided against that. Besides that, I think it'd be kind of cool to see the tears. Because I'm loving this fray, you know, that, that's happening on, on, this, on this fabric. I used a pillowcase to print on. Somebody in the in the comments had asked what fabric did I use. I'm like, uh, pillowcase, cotton. <laughs> uh, you tell me. Yeah, I, I'm not a knower of fabric. You know what's what's strange about that 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 statement is is that's what my grandmother that's what my grandmommy did. She did textiles for the North Texas um, University. Yeah, she taught textiles. And y'all need to know she didn't go to college. She she learned all of that straight straight from being a being a the seamstress at a farm. <laughs> you know, my grandmother could didn't need patterns. She'd measure me and my sister, and and she just sew. She just sew like a champ. My daughter can do that too. I I I'd, I've never sewed a thing until I started sewing on this paper. And um, now I can't stop. Now I, I see what the obsession is with with the sewing. I, I see it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this here because I want my thinking on this is I want the fray kind of dancing off a little. 
you know. I think that'll look good. I was going to use paper to cover this. I don't know. Maybe I should. But I just, I have all this fabric printed, and I'm digging it. I want to use the fabric. I do, I do. I don't know why I'm erasing that. It's going to be covered, but I don't know. It was, it was stressing me out. Okay. So we got here. We got here. Everything's anchor anchored up, sort of. I like a heavy ink, guys. I like you to see it. I really enjoy the the vintagey, grungy thing about that. Okay. There we go. Now, now let's we don't really need this right now. But I'm telling you, there is something about fabric. It doesn't have that 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 you know friction that that paper does all right this is just going to be uneven i'm afraid uh, it's just the sack has a mind of its own it was folded this way from the from like the factory or something and it just will not behave no matter i have had it the clips and everything but it is just oh well it's going to be okay everything's going to be obk all right we'll do one at a time so let's start with this piece. So I like these fabrics are exactly 10 inches. But see what I mean? I could I could cover the whole the whole thing here with one piece of fabric, right? But when I go to fold this, I'm afraid that it's gonna do it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna hinder it, you know. I, I really am. Let me see. Yeah, see? No, we're not going to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I know this is five inches. So. And I like this piece. Here. See all the beautiful fray? I love it. I love it. All right. Okay. Um... So I'm going to, I want, that's why I inked it, because I, I, I don't mind that you're going to be able to see a little bit of what this is sitting on. When I alter things, I like that you can see just a tad bit. I don't know if y'all could see that. I don't know where my, my zoomer is. I lost my zoomer. Oh, well. Um, I have a zoom. That'll zoom the camera in. But I'm not quite sure. What's. Oh. Did I find it? No. All right. I'm not going to spend time looking for it. Okay. Um, I, I like that you can see. A little bit. You know. Right there. I like it. In fact. I may ink this just a tad bit more. Yeah. I very well. I think I will. All right. Well. See. What we're going to do. Now, here comes kind of the stressful part for me, tearing the fabric. Because the fabric don't always tear straight, you know? It's not always cooperative. When if I put paper on the trimmer, that I can control. Fabric, mm, sometimes not so much. All right. So, let's see. Let's see where I want to tear this. I think I want to tear it. Right there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pray for the best. Here we go. Oh. Okay. This seems I don't know, maybe a bed sheet works out better. I watch a lot of crime TV, and they'll rip the bed sheets and tie people up with them. So maybe that's why they do that. <laughs> oh, Lord, Stacy! Oh, my God. The places my mind goes to, it's scary. It's a scary place. All right. So that is perfecto. And then this is going to still close. Yep. 
Yep. Yep, it is. All right. So now we need to do this side. This fabric stuff is fun. Fun. If you have not printed on fabric yet, uh, do it. You will you will never regret it. This uh, oh so fun. Now I found some spray stuff because all the videos I watched said oh you got to use that spray you know, but I I just use a glue stick. But I don't let it sit on the part cardstock forever you know. I, I I get it off right when it gets off the printer, um, and only a couple of times have I had. Have I had like some paper trying to stay on it, but I, I just kind of pick at it with my with my pokey tool and get it off. Uh, okay, let me see what we got going on here. All right. Oh, look! You can see the little fray hanging out. See the little freight? It's a cutie. Okay. All right. So that's done. So that's that's that piece. We got to do it again. All right. What happened to the rest of that fabric? Here it is. I don't know if I want to use this piece or not. But what do I want to use on the very front? That's the thing. I like this. Maybe I could use this on the front. I mean, it's going to be covered up anyway, to be honest with you. Because I'm going to put pockets on it. That's pretty. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this here. Okay. So, let's see how quiet I get. Okay. Okay. Now, I know it's a little, little on the long side here. So I'm gonna have to do a little. I'm gonna have to do a little, little something, something here. So we're gonna have to tear it here. Or, yeah, tear it. I'll use that for a tag topper or something on a tag or something. Nothing's going to waste. You take all this effort to to um, to print on fabric, you know. Yeah, you're not gonna waste it. I feel like it's 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 gold or something. All right, get all the phrase off. Yeah, when I when I first started sewing and stuff, I would save little pieces like that. Uh, <laughs> now I've been sewing so long. That yeah, that I, I I acquired quite a bit of that. Okay, so that's gonna work there. So that's there. There's that. So what are we gonna do on the front? Let's. I think I liked this for a front piece. Yeah, I do. So let's look at this for the front. Okay, this doesn't have enough fray for me on this side. So, I'm going to, well, let me see what I can do. I'm going gonna, gonna to create the fray. Oh, that's better. That's better. I can I can live with that. OK. 
Okay. Alrighty, Friday. Oops, hit the camera, sorry. Alright. So, I like that there. So, I need to tear this. About right here. There. Okay. I should have that about perfect. And I do. Woo. It's stressful tearing this fabric because, I, you know, it's like, like I said, it's not like paper. I don't have any control over this sometimes. All right. We're going to. Now well, that fray wants to hang on. All right, this will be a good piece for something. Ooh, look at that butterfly and everything. All right, that's going on the front of one of them, for sure. So I love Natalie's collage pages so much. Look, it looks like, it doesn't even look like the same piece of paper. You know, like that, that does not, but it is. It's one piece of paper. Okay, so that's perfect. So those that's one one little set. And these are all exactly the same, right? Yes, they are. Okay. So let's do this for the front of the next one. Because I just fell in love. Isn't it pretty? Ooh la la. Okay. This one... Okay, we're going to have to do some, it may be too wide, I don't know how that happened, but, okay, we're going to tear it right here. And again, want, waste not, want not, that'll get used. All right, we're just going to cut that. All right. Now. I think this is a bit on the long side. It is. And it's going to get in the way of the folding and stuff. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to hold our breath and cut it. We're gonna, because when I when I don't have a bigger piece to hold on to, I don't know. I'm not a pro at tearing fabric. Okay, let's hope for the best. Oh, I did it! Did it? That was stressful. Okay. How bad did I do? Oh. <laughs> Oh, Jesus is shining on me tonight. Look at that. Yay. Okay, that's another piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I liked I liked this piece. So let's work with this one. Look how much I'm getting out of one. This is just one sheet, you know. This is amazing. Okay.
All right, I think I like that. Really, I like this. I don't know, could I get both pieces out of this? I sure could. Okay. So I might use this out of all of it. Okay. So. This is so exciting to me. I am just really digging the fabric thing. You know, and I've, I've been watching Arlene print on fabric for quite a while. And I was just scared to do it. I'd heard all these horror stories about, oh, it's going to jam your printer. And, you know. But so far, I haven't had any issues, you know. But it's, it's sort of a game changer for me. It really is. Because as I could, as I've told you, as I've just told you with the inside of that, of that bag, uh, it, there's no, the, the paper isn't causing that bulk. This fabric is thin. This fabric is. Because it's a, it's actually, I, I don't even know how old this bed sheet is. And I washed it, just so you know. <laughs> just so you know, I did wash it. Okay, let's see if I can tear this. This is going to be a tight fit. Let's see if I can tear it. That to get me a little more of a start. Oh, I did it. I'm not kidding, guys. The tearing fabric thing can stress me out. Y'all are giving me just good, good vibes tonight. Good vibes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me see. Oh, my gosh. Look. Okay. Number, that's number two. We just have one more to go. <laughs> I, feel like a, I feel like a little kid. This is so exciting. I'm having the best time. This is so fun. All right. Now this time I want to do it from this this point. I do. But I want to I want to I want to get it right this direction first. So Let me get this direction first. Or should I cut off this and, and still keep some of that? And then I'd, I'd be cutting off the stem. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And all these little tiny pieces here. I'm going to use them on tags, it's toppers, you know, it's all going to get used, every bit of it. All right, now I've got to, I've got to get it this way, because it's a little on the, okay, here comes that stressful one where there's not a lot of room. Did it again. <laughs> Yay. Oh my gosh. This is this y'all got a print on fabric. Y'all really there. Y'all will love it. Okay. Of course I'm no pro at it, you know. I just I just what you see is all I've done. <laughs> I've printed on a few things. That's it. Somebody asked me for a video on it. And I'm like, I don't know about that. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. All right. Isn't this lovely? All right. Let's get rid of all this fray. Not the fabric, but the fray. I got I to gotta clean up my, my cotton picking mess here. I got to. I do have a cotton picking mess. Okay. All right. 
we're going to throw all this away, and then we're going to get to glue it. Now, all right, what do I want on the front? I want this on the front, and I may mix these up. Let me see. I know I want this on the front of the other one. Um, I want that to go with that. And I want that to go with that. Yeah, let's do it this way. Okay. So we'll start with the outside. All right. I need to get a paper here. Yeah, this would be better. I mean, this will help me because I'm going to use my spatula. My spatula, spatula that I just got through using. But uh, you could you could use your kitchen spatula. You know, I would wash it first, but you could use your kitchen spatula. Um, you, I, I, who was it? I think it's Natalie uses her the the end of her makeup. You know, or like her plastic makeup thing. She uses those. I've seen that. A credit card. Seen that. But uh, I had a friend give me this spatula. I really like it. Okay, I'm not going all the way to the edge. Because the spatula spreads it. I think that's plenty of glue. All right. I think I want, I'm going to do this. All right. And then I wanted this, I mean, I got a glass mat and everything, but I don't want to have to stop the camera and clean it ever, all, every time. All right, here we go. So we're going to move that. You got to have to work fast. You know, you, you don't want to let it just sit there. But this fiber tag, you do have a few minutes. Let me see here. Oops, a daisy. Let me move this. Well, you don't have that long. All right, that'll be good enough. I like it pretty good. And then I do have the glue eraser. So let me get that out. The glue eraser like gums it up and makes it into like a ball. I got this glue eraser on Amazon. I, I use this thing on every project, guys. All right, now this was a little short, but I'm I'm not tripping out on it. It's just fine. It's OBKB. I like to get the glue right, right when I know I need it. That's that's when I, I think it seems to work the best. If I let the glue sit in for a while, it doesn't ball up as easy. So, okay, here's the perfectionist in me, but oh my gosh. Look, look at that. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's 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 do it again. We're gonna do all of these. Okay, so now we're gonna do this. And what do I want over here? I want that one. And I'll put this one here.
Let me do. Okay, I think this one's going to be better there. And this one will be better here. Okay. And then I'm going to put pockets on these. Okay. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge this time. And I won't have to do all that glue eraser stuff. It, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. I just know I want to stay away from the fold. Ooh, look at that. Oh, this time I did better. See, you learn. You learn as you go. This time I did better because I didn't go all the way to the edge. Much is better. Oh my goodness. Look. Oh, I, this is so fun, guys. Uh. Okay, no to the edge, Stacy Nail. Don't go to the edge. I can always come back and put more glue on the edges if I need to. That's not a problem. It's better than cleaning up all that glue. Okay. All right. It's better to take your, your glue and come to the inside like this. Otherwise, you're squishing it to the outside, you know. Oops. I needed to clean my... I needed to clean my spatula before I started. I got little balls. Little balls on here. Oh. Okay. We're going to get rid of that. I'll clean my spatula on the next go. Oh, yay. Okay. I don't know if I need. I do. I need some glue right here. And you want to spread it out because you're using fabric. If you don't, then you're going to see those glue lines. I know. It's pretty near ugly. Her near ugly. All right, I missed this. This piece isn't all the way to the top. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, it's a junk journal. Doesn't have to be perfect. Well, this is an ephemera holder, but you know, you know what I mean. Oh my goodness. This is fun. Fun, 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 fun. Oh my gosh. And then we'll we'll put pockets on this at some point. 
Oh my goodness, look. Isn't it lovely? Oh, and look at the fray hanging off there. <laughs> okay, I gotta claim my spatula. So let's do that. Because I don't want all that gumballs on there. It's a gumball express going on there. All right. Okay, let's do it again. We're going to start with the front. And we're not going to the edge, Stacy now. I'm, in fact, staying about a quarter inch from the edge. Because, like I did that just a minute ago, on that last one, I can come back and um, and add and add glue. Okay. That's much better, you know. The, the first one, I, I, I kind of went overboard. Overboards. I want this one on the front. Yay. Okay. Where do I need to add glue? Okay. Let me see what I got going on here. Oops. Yeah, this needs a lot of blue. I think I'm good down here. No, no, I'm not. Yeah, that's awesome sauce. All right, we're going to remember to clean it. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, goodness gracious. All right, I didn't even get glue on my paper this time. Okay. All right, we're going to... Which one do I want where? Because it really doesn't matter, but... Let me look at this. All right, I think I'll put All right. No, I think I'm going to do it the other way around. Oop, almost got to the edge. Stacy now.
We have to do clean up on owl glue time. But that's what I got the glue eraser for. Because I'm a big fat goober. I will. I will mess it up every time. Keep wanting to put that in my mouth because I think I'm. I can't talk. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love, I love, I love it. Okay. But yeah, guys, this is this printing on fabric. It's a game changer for me. I'm definitely not passing up the bed sheets at the garage sales no more. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've got all kinds of fabric, you know, that I could print on. Uh, I, I, I saw the videos I watched talked about muslin a lot. You know. Okay, I think that's good. This one is not. A lot of them talked about muslin a lot, but I'll be honest with you, I I, I don't I don't know what muslin is. So <laughs> I'd I'll have to go to Hobby Lobby and ask them. Please help me find the muslin. I may have it. And I don't even know it. Yeah, that's what a, that's a that's the kind of goober I am. All right, that looks good too. <laughs> Way to go. Okay. All right, we're gonna do that. We got one more to go. Yeah, and the paper would have been really pretty and everything, but it's not near as fun right now. But I don't know. Maybe the new will wear off this whole fabric thing. Because, it, honestly, I'll be honest with you. It, it, you got to glue the paper, the fabric to the to the cardstock. Then you, you got to smooth it out on, on, the, on the cardstock. And then you got to set your printer on the right settings. And then you got to feed it through. And then you got to hurry and get it off. So, I mean, it's <laughs> honestly printing on paper, you know, you just print, you know, and you're done. So th there's some work involved here, you know. Um, this, this isn't for the faint of heart. Let's just put it that way. But I sure am having a fired up good time. Okay. He hold good old time. There it is. I may have got it good the first time. Here's the corner. Is this corner good? Yeah. Yes. Yes. We did it. We did it. Yo, good job. This was fun. All right. 
I'm not going to do nothing to the backs of this. Yeah, we're not going to do nothing to it. I got glue anywhere. No. Okay. So this is going to go here like so and like so or like so and like so. I don't know which yet. And then this is going to get glued onto here. And there'll be a pocket back here. And then we'll create pockets on this. What do y'all think? This was fun. This was fun. I'm talking like fun. <laughs> oh, man, I've had a good time doing this. All right. Well, that's that today. I, oh, my gosh. Look, it's 50 minutes already. Sorry. It's taking me taking me a minute. But, man, I have had a good time. I hope that this inspired you in in some way. Yeah. I mean, golly. If, if, if nothing else, you, you, you sure saw Stacy have a good time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. All right. And, uh, yeah. So, we'll, we'll, we'll come back, and I don't know what we'll do next. <laughs> oh, look what else I did. I put the trims on, on the papers. Isn't that pretty, 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 pretty? Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. It is so much fun having having the shop at my, dis at my disposal, guys. So, um, uh, but anyway, this will go like this. And then, yeah, definitely going to need the closure, you know. And we've got the, the handles that are going here. And then we'll have the, the master board thing that's going on top of everything. But I think I'm really going to cut these down, uh, at least by, by half inch or so. Yeah, because I don't want them too bulky right there, you know? Yeah. And, um, uh, but yeah. And then we're going to add pockets to this. We have the envelopes to put here. We got to add the pockets to this. So we're, we're getting there for, for someone that was, that, that was way behind. I, I sure, I sure I, I feel accomplished. I'll tell you that. I sure tell you that much. I feel accomplished today and I'm just having a good time. Good time. Thank you. Oh, look, there's a moth. Uh, Thank you, Natalie and Suzanne, for inviting me in your in your collab, for being on your design team, Natalie. Ah, I love it. Look at all the fabric I get to play with on tags and stuff. Yep, not a piece of this is going to go to waste. I'll use them on clusters, on everything, everything. Yeah, this is fun, 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 guys. Thank you all so much for joining me in this, in this fun today. Yeah, I, I haven't had this much fun crafting and I don't know when. Yeah. I mean, I have fun, but this, this was, this was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. So yeah, y'all, thank you for joining me today. Uh, yeah. And I uh, will be back to do more. We'll be back to do more, uh, very, very soon. Yeah. Very, very soon. I got pieces of fabric, just little, little pieces everywhere. And I will use every single little stitch of it. I will. None of it's going to waste. Oh, it's so exciting. Uh, this fabric thing is fun. I am so glad that y'all were with me today to, to join in this fun. And uh, yeah, and like I said, I hope this inspired you. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. What do you think about my little flip flap things? My little flip things. Oh, aren't they? I, I think they're cute. I think they're, I think they're awesome. And they feel so lovely, guys. So lovely. Yeah, I, this is, now I am going to ink some more. Yeah, I'm going to add some more ink there. And then, um, and I may do a few things off camera. And uh, I, like I may glue these down off camera. And um, and I might add pockets to that off camera. I don't know. But uh, any who, yeah, because I, I, I need, I want this project done in the next couple of days. Because our retreat is this, is, is a week, is in a week, a little over a week. But I'm leaving for my sisters this weekend. So, um, so yeah, I really need to put this little puppy, this little baby girl needs to be, go to bed, uh, in, in the next few days. So I've got a lot to do. I got to add pockets, pockets, sew this in. I got to do the envelopes back here. I'm doing a checklist. Um, and then of course there's the ephemera, but I've already started on the ephemera, you know, 
the ephemera is not a problem. Uh, yeah, I can I can make tags and, and lickety split. Yeah, uh, but here's my here's my envelopes. I'm gonna cover the envelopes in paper. Can you imagine trying to <laughs> tear around that? Mm -mm. No, it, no, no. That I'm I'm not I'm not good enough for that. Not good enough for that yet. Uh, but yeah, so I've got my I've got my ephemera all cut out. I've got the rest of my fabrics. I'm gonna use these fabrics for pockets in the pages. Yeah. I got big plans, guys. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank you for putting up with my goober self. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. Y'all have a blessed afternoon, evening, day, whatever it is where you're at. I will see you in the next video soon and soon. Bye.